Hi guys and gals out in YouTube land. It's Miss Beverly here with you this evening for a, um, I don't know, just a hi video. Um, I want to show you guys a few products and I also want to talk a little bit about my hair treatment. Uh, a couple days ago I got a uh, Coppola Keratin Complex Smoothing Treatment done. Um, I had been on the fence a little bit about getting this kind of treatment you know it, it's not uh, an inexpensive treatment in fact it can be very cost prohibitive for a lot of people um, and so I kind of went back and forth with myself a little bit as to whether or not I really wanted to spend the kind of money on it um, you know right now my hair is all the way down past the boobage and so for my hair, um, it cost me $350. So, <laughs> um, so not uh, for the faint of heart, right? So, I did a lot of research online, watched a lot of YouTube videos, and kind of, um, you know, uh, researched into the different ones that are out there. Um, there are, uh, you know, the f most popular ones like the Brazilian Blowout is kind of like the first one, if you will, that kind of came out that everyone talks about. Uh, but it kind of gotten a bad rap in recent years, um, you know, because of the formaldehyde thing and all of that. And uh, formaldehyde, which of course everyone knows as embalming fluid, um, it um, helps the keratin to infuse into the hair shaft, right? So, um, certainly the the more formaldehyde, the the more of the keratin that gets into the hair shaft. Um, but, you know, it is a carcinogenic. Now, you know, if you go and get a keratin treatment, you know, once or twice a year or something, uh, you are not going to get cancer <laughs> from using this, okay? I mean, I'm a nurse and I'm here to tell you, you're not going to get cancer, even though it is a carcinogenic. However, for the people that are actually the stylists who are, you know, performing these treatments day in, day out, it's a little bit more of a concern, okay, than it is for just the user. So, um, the one I decided to go with is the um, Coppola Keratin Complex Smoothing Treatment. And it's a, um, uh, they have a couple of them. They also have the uh, Keratin a complex express blowout which is a um, smoothing treatment that lasts um, about six weeks. Uh, the particular treatment that I got uh, lasts about six months. Um, so it's the longer one. However, it's obviously the more expensive one. Um, I think the six week uh, blowout was $150, um, you know, which probably would have ended up being a little bit more for me because my hair is porous and it sucked in all the stuff so they charged me extra but um yeah so um and whenever you get one of the treatments you have to be very uh, careful this is the actual brand um the keratin complex and this is the uh smoothing therapy color care shampoo you have to be very careful with the type of uh, shampoo and conditioner that you use um because just virtually every shampoo out there nearly has um, a sodium chloride in it. Most of us know, especially if you have dry hair or curly hair, you know to watch out for sulfates. You obviously know that those are drying and so you try to stay away from the sulfates. Um, a lot of people do anyway. But most people wouldn't even think about having to worry about sodium chloride, right? But uh, sodium chloride is, um, is an antagonist for the keratin. So if you use your shampoo with that in it, you're going to wash the keratin right out of your hair in two or three weeks or something. So uh, it's very important to use um, the uh, proper shampoo and conditioner. Now, you know, I looked online. I did a lot of research. Um, I did see some people saying that L'Oreal's Ever Pure color care um, is uh, sodium chloride free and I looked at the bottle today and it is it, I mean I didn't find sodium chloride on it but I think I had a little stroke of paranoia right because I'm like I spent $350 for this freaking hairdo so 
I bought the shampoo that goes with it, right? Because I don't want them to be able to say, oh, well, your shit didn't last because you didn't use the right shampoo and conditioner, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I figured if I'm going to come back and do any type of longer term uh, review, you know, uh, on it, I need to be able to say I was using the correct products. So, um, this shampoo, I had a little hard time finding it. I actually ended up getting it at Rite Aid, believe it or not. Um, and it's uh, $21.99, I believe. I had a 20% discount because I buy a lot of shit at Rite Aid, I guess. So, it was 17 something for me. Um, but pretty expensive, you know. Uh, I, I just kind of felt like, you know, why would I spend $350 to get my hair done and then buy a $5 shampoo that may make the shit wash out, right, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like suck it up and buy the good stuff if you're going to do this type of stuff to your hair. So, yeah, so um, uh, when you get this treatment done, it takes, um, for me, it took about three hours. So they wash your hair with a clarifying shampoo get it like literally squeaky clean um, and that actually opens up the um, the little uh, what's the word I'm looking for the shingles somebody's gonna come back and tell me anyway it opens up the hair and, and basically readies the hair to accept the keratin into the into the shaft okay and um, so they wash it uh, two to three times with the clarifying shampoo and then um, they towel dry it and then take you to the station and they do a rough blow dry with just the fingers uh, you have it hundred percent dry okay and just rough dry not not with a comb or, or a brush or anything like that just rough dry uh, hundred percent dry and then they separate your hair into four sections and then take like small like inch sections like they separated mine into four and then took small inch sections and used a um, like a hair color brush and brushed it on from roots to ends all through the hair um, and uh, you have to be careful uh, to not put you know like oversaturate it so there's you know you don't want a bunch of goop on your hair so you don't oversaturate it so then they comb it all through and then remove any residual um, and then after they put it all through with the um, hair color brush um, then they wrap my head in plastic and then they had this like donut shaped uh, dryer like a heating device I couldn't I'm not sure I'd even call it a dryer it's like a heating device right so it's like a halo and it's circling around my head. It was the craziest thing ever. It circled around my head for 30 minutes. And it was pretty damn hot, too, I might add. And, um, and then after the 30 minutes were up, she took the plastic off and then um, kind of combed through it again, uh, brushed through it again, I mean, and then um, dried it again. And then after it was uh, completely dry again, then she uh, re-sectioned it off again into four sections and then took very small, like inch, half inch sections and flat ironed them. And I mean just like over and over and over and over. I don't know, probably, I don't know, eight or nine times on each section of hair, just down and down and down and down, you know, from the roots, obviously. And then um, with the, after that, you know, she did my whole head, um, and it, and it, it you know, I, I mean, it, it took a while, you know. And this is uh, this is the result. I mean, it's like literally bone straight. So then after they do that, you're not allowed to wash your hair for at least three days. No shampooing your hair, no getting your hair wet. If you get your hair wet at all, then you're supposed to immediately blow dry and then go back in with the flat iron and flat iron and flat iron, right? And then um, me, you know, of course I'm in California, it's uh, sunny and hot here, so it was like 90 degrees, and so I was sweating. So um, every day uh, yesterday and then today my daughter and I went through my hair 
and re-flat ironed from the root again, you know, and then throughout the day as I've gotten like little bumps or something in it, I've just brought the flat iron back out and kind of went back over it again and just kind of making sure that I keep it as straight as possible to kind of lock that um, that keratin in. Um, right now it's kind of in like the molding phase, if you will. So I'm trying to lock it in in a nice straight pattern so that when I um, go uh, to rinse it, I could technically I could wash it tomorrow afternoon. I probably will wait uh, even a little bit longer. Um, but um, you you want to make sure that you keep it bone straight. Like I'm sleeping on a satin pillowcase. Um, uh, you can't put it behind your ears. You can't put like your sunglasses on your forehead. You can wear no uh, no ponytails, no clips, no no nothing. Just straight. <laughs> While it's basically setting in, okay? So, yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I'll come back and I'll let you guys know what it looks like. I mean, it doesn't remove... Um, it doesn't remove all the, the curls in your hair, you know. So, you know, I do have curly hair. So it doesn't remove all the curls. It removes up to 95% of frizz, which my hair is very frizzy. So I was like, yay. And it also cuts down drying time and styling time by, you know, more than half, right? And, um, and then uh, it removes... Uh, the stylist told me six levels of curls, which I'm not exactly sure how six levels equates to my hair, so I guess we're going to find out. So I'm going to come back and um, do another video here later on and show you guys kind of what it looked like. So, yeah, so that's what I've been up to. Um, you guys share with me below what you guys have been up to. I was trying to find this. Um, I. Uh, we got a new um, Ulta over here, uh, not too far from my house, and so I went and checked it out. I, I I bought this. It's from Tarte, and this is the Picture Perfect Eyelash Curler. Now, I didn't really think there was going to be an eyelash curler that would uh, that would sway me away from my Shumara. Okay which I have been using for a few years now and absolutely love the Shuyamara eyelash curler. But this little number right here is a gem. I love this eyelash curler. It works fantastic. Um, and I would highly recommend it. Um, this uh, was, I want to say this was like 20 bucks. No, I don't even think it was that much. I want to say it was maybe 17 bucks, like $16.99 or something. And it came with a little, um, where is it? A little mascara to go with it. Um, and it, uh, it was really, I mean, it really, really works well. So I want to recommend that to you guys. Um, I also, what else did I get I wanted to share with you guys? Oh, um these uh, sugar berry fresh uh, lip treatments. I've got this one and I've got a smaller version of this one uh, in the rose. That, uh, these things are great you guys. I'm a big fan of the balms. Um, I don't like lipstick. I never wear lipstick. I hardly ever wear lip gloss. I, I mean, once in a while, you know, or if I'm doing a video, however seldom that is, I might wear lip gloss. But um, this stuff is great, and it has like a little tint to it also. Um, I want to say these are about 20 bucks a piece for the full size, but geez, they last forever. And um, another thing that I really, really liked um, is the, uh, this is from Tarte also. I don't know if you can see it because of my lighting in here. This is the, uh, what is this called? The Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint. Enchanted Lip Tint. And this stuff is, is, is another thing that's quite similar. It's also a... Um, 
also a balm, you know, but it goes on really, really smooth. It doesn't cake up in your, you know, in the sides of your mouth or run up here, you know. Um, and it, it's really good. And then um, the last one I got here is um, from Makeup Forever. This is the Lab Shine. This is actual lip gloss. I don't wear it too much. I have it on. <laughs> I have it on now, but you know. Um, I, I like it. I think it's kind of pretty. It's got like a little sh like shimmer to it and everything. So yeah. Um, so that's that's um, that's about it. That's what's been going on in Miss Beverly's neighborhood. So um, sure, miss you guys. Wanted to check in with everyone and kind of upload all the comments and stuff since I had to put them on. Um, I had to put all my comments on. Um, uh, like approval only, you know, because of trolls and stuff, so. Anyway, so tell me below what you guys are up to, and I look forward to watching some of your videos and hearing from you guys, and until next time, rock on. Bye-bye.